Hi, today I'm reviewing the new Cerafil uh, Sunlight Gel SPF 50 Plus. Uh, this one is made in France and I actually prefer the European sunscreens because the European regulations for sunscreens are very stringent specifically when it comes to UVA protection. For the UVA protection, the Asian sunscreens are labeled with PA with pluses whereas the European sunscreens are labeled with PPD value. European sunscreens with the UVA circle which is also present in this sunscreen, UVA has a circle over it which actually means that the your PPD value is at least one third of the SPF value mentioned in the label. So if the SPF value of a sunscreen is 50, then the PPD value is at least 16 or higher, which provides 93% protection against the UV rays. So when the SPF is labeled as 50 plus, like in this sunscreen, the SPF is actually at 59.9 or higher then the PPD value is around 20 or higher which provides 95% protection against the UV rays. So this actually provides a significantly higher UVA protection than the most of the sunscreens presented in the market and which I truly love. I mean I love sunscreens. I have literally named my channel over sunscreen. I love them. This is also fragrance free so this will suit most of the skin types even sensitive this also has alcohol but this is not at all drying it's actually i think it's actually moisturizing and has a velvety feel to it even though this is labeled as a light gel the texture is not at all like a light gel this actually has a lotiony consistency it's a little thicker than the Cetaphil liposomal sunscreen but not as thick as the Bioderma Photoderm Max Creme. This actually has a lotiony texture instead of a gel but it also absorbs very easily. I think uh, texture wise, I uh, I think I prefer the texture of Cetaphil liposomal sun lotion over this one. The sunscreen to be truly effective and actually provide the label protection, you have to apply at least one four teaspoon for the face as well as neck. Now the key, I know it is a lot of product, but the key to applying this so that it doesn't leave any white cast is to apply it in layers while applying this sunscreen does take some time to absorb but when it does it blends beautifully it can leave a very slight white cast which goes away after some time and there is also a slight oily film i actually like it because it's more glowy rather than the greasy film but if you want a complete matte finish you can always use a loose powder over it for which i prefer the innisfree no sebum pore powder and the maybelline fit me loose powder both of them work beautifully when it comes to absorbing oil this sunscreen is also extremely waterproof. I have used this on the days I was exercising or sweating profusely, but this did not budge at all. So I tried spraying some water over it and you can see that even after rubbing it, this just doesn't budge at all. I think this is also similar on with the Cetaphil Sunkits liposomal roll lotion. I have also reviewed that on my channel so you can check that out. Now I tan very easily and I also tend to get some redness around my cheeks due to sun exposure. But on the days I have used this sunscreen I didn't tan at all or get any redness or irritation due to sun exposure. I think this sunscreen ticks all the boxes except one and that is it stings. And it literally stings all day. If you have tried the Sebamed Sun Lotions or the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer, you know the kind of stinging I am talking about. I think I am going to repurchase this because this applies beautifully and it, this is extremely water resistant. But I am not going to use this on my face but on my neck or body. For the face, I really love Bioderma Sunscreens and the Cetaphil Liposomal Sun Lotion is my newfound love. I really love it.